Namaste. My name is Mini and welcome to my channel Food Atomic. Many of my friends have been asking for a vegan pancake recipe. So today we are not just preparing pancakes but stuffed pancakes. So let's go ahead and see the ingredients we would need for it. For the pancake ingredients we would need semolina flour 2 cups also known as suji, vegan milk half cup, sugar 1 tablespoon, salt 1 teaspoon, baking powder half teaspoon and oil 1 tablespoon. To prepare the pancake batter, take 2 cups of semolina and add half teaspoon of baking soda, 1 tablespoon of sugar, I am using brown sugar here, then add 1 teaspoon of salt and mix everything together. Once all the dry ingredients are mixed, go ahead and add 1 tablespoon of oil. The oil is mixed nicely with the flour. Now I'll go ahead and add milk. I'm using soya milk here. You can use any plant-based milk of your choice. Slowly add the milk and keep on mixing it with the flour. I will add the rest of the milk and now mix everything together. Now cover the mixture and keep it aside for 15 to 20 minutes. For the masala we need 2 medium sized potatoes, 1 medium sized onion, garlic cloves 2 to 3, fresh ginger 1 inch, dry red chilies 2 to 3, mustard seeds 1 teaspoon. We have boiled the potatoes and removed their skin. Now start mashing them with the help of a fork. I have also chopped the onion and garlic cloves finely. Once the potatoes are mashed, add 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil to a hot pan and then go ahead and add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. Once the mustard seeds flutter, go ahead and add 2 to 3 dry red chilies and then in a minute add the chopped garlic cloves to the pan and mix everything together. Now add 1 inch of grated or chopped ginger to the pan and again mix everything together. After a minute or two, go ahead and add your chopped onions to the pan as well. Mix everything together and let the onion cook for 5 to 7 minutes. Now go ahead and add the mashed boiled potatoes. Add 1 to 2 teaspoon of salt or salt for taste. Then add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix everything together. Now add 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder or spice as per your taste. Mix everything together and turn off the heat. Add some freshly chopped coriander or parsley to your potato mix. The potato stuffing is ready. After 15 minutes we can see the batter is thicker than before so we will add a small amount of water to get the right consistency. Let's start preparing the pancakes. Heat a pan and add 2 teaspoons of oil. Then go ahead and add the pancake batter and spread it evenly. Meanwhile, we will take the potato filling and make it into a small flat patty. Just like this, roll the potato batter, flatten it up and then add it to the pancake batter. Then add a small amount of pancake batter on top of the potato just to cover it from all the sides. Now cover it and cook it for 2 minutes over low heat. After 2 minutes remove the cover and sprinkle 1 teaspoon of oil on top of the pancake. Cover it again and cook for 2 minutes over low heat. Now take off the cover and go ahead and flip the pancake gently. Now 
Cover it again and we will cook it for 1 minute on high heat. Now take off the cover and the pancake is ready. It looks amazing golden brown in color. Let me cut it and show you how does it look from the inside. And wow, looks amazing. This is such a healthy breakfast and you can always choose your stuffing or even prepare it without any stuffing. This is a very popular dish among kids. So do make them at home and let me know your feedback in the comment section. I want to again thank everyone for giving this channel so much love and support. You can always choose to prepare plain pancakes or even add a little bit of sugar to make them sweeter. This is a perfect breakfast for a lazy or a busy morning or if you want to just eat something fun. Many of you have asked me what tools or softwares I use to make these videos. I have listed everything in the description box below so do check them out. If you like this recipe, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel Food Atomic. I will see you next time with a new vegan video. Until then, bye!